Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. All right, it's here, week one of the XFL season. The return of the XFL for the third year ever, 2000, 2020, and now 2023. New owners, pretty much the same teams as 2020, but we have some new players, new coaches. It's going to be a new year. The NFL is over, but we have XFL, we have USFL, we have CFL before we get to August. Oh my goodness. Year-long football. Love it, love it, love it. Make sure you check out the video I did about doing a combination of the XFL, CFL, USFL working together. Not playing each other, but working together. Make sure you check that out. All right, we have the Vegas Vipers going up against the Arlington Renegades. Brett Hundley is what is quarterback for the Vegas Vipers. Martavius Bryant, does he have anything left to be a wide receiver? Well, Vegas is going to find out. They're going up against the Arlington Renegades, who may have the best coaching staff in the XFL with Bob Stoops. Quarterback Kyle Slaughter and tight end Sal Canella, who was part of the USFL last year in New Orleans, this duo was. Arlington is favored by two. I got them winning, covering, and over on the 37. The Orlando Guardians versus the Houston Roughnecks. Who, Orlando could have the worst quarterback in the team. Um, well, he struggled in the USFL in 2022, Paxton Lynch. Yeah, he struggled in the NFL too, we all know that. Houston, on the other hand, with Wade Phillips as, as their head coach, they're going to have a defense. Quarterback Brandon Silvers, he's just got to be serviceable. This team, right now, thinking of the 2000 Baltimore Ravens, Trent Dilfer was their quarterback, serviceable quarterback, hell of a defense, and they won it all. Houston is favored by one. I got them winning covering. Based on a Wade Phillips type defense, I'm taking under in the 35 and a half. Next up, we have the St. Louis Battlehawks. Going up against the St. Antonio Brahmas. AJ McCarron on quarterback for the Battlehawks. Brian Hill, former Wyoming running back. Over in San Antonio, we have Jake Cohen, the Wisconsin Notre Dame standout. And then running back, Caton um, Bulge. And St. Louis is favored by two and a half on the road. I got them winning, covering. I am taking over in a 36 and a half. The Seattle Sea Dragons versus the DC Defenders. Ben Danucci is quarterback for Seattle. Wide receiver. Yes, the one and only Josh Gordon. DC Defenders have Jordan um, Tom Tamu. He was St. Louis Battlehawks quarterback in 2020. He had a 72% pressure and completion ratio, five touchdowns, two interceptions. In 2022 in the USFL for Tampa Bay, he had 56% completion ratio, 14 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. The DC defenders are favored by one and a half. I think Josh Gordon can be a difference maker. I'm giving the one and a half to Seattle. I've got the Sea Dragons winning, covering the one and a half, and over on the 35 and a half. All right, so that's week one. We're going to see in the next 10 weeks how well the XFL will go. As always, thanks for watching Robert Sports Show, and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Robert Sports Show, your YouTube leader in sports channel content.